in year nine orientation week or weeks it was two or change of a week I fell down the stairs not just one set I fell down them all because I am ambitious before you get worried because I know how important my health and safety is to all of you I was fine my knees were cut up a little bit but considering I fell down three flights of stairs it wasn't a big deal I could have broken something I didn't but I coulda. And considering how regularly in my entire life I do stupid things, it's a wonder that I am both alive and haven't broken or fractured any bone, accidentally severed a limb, or injured myself or anyone else. Seriously, anyway. Suffice to say, I'm clumsy! And I don't even know how these things happen. I mean, of course it's because of lack of coordination. Also, I am uh, just just plain stupid. My autopilot is definitely a moron. My uh, conscious decision making skills aren't so great either. Sometimes I'll even see something coming and I'll still do it. I don't know why. My brain will be like, Amy, that's not a good idea for you to do it that way. You should insert alternative course of action here. And I'll be like, nah, nah brain, you're freaking out over nothing. It'll be fine. And then I ruin everything. One time I was in my BFFL's Annika's room and I was picking something up from her desk and I knocked this dragon figurine and I tried to fix it. I tried to stand it back up but then I knocked it on the floor and I broke its tail off and I felt so bad and I went up to her and I'm like, I, I, I broke your dragon, its tail came off, I'm so sorry and she bought it for my friend Morgan she's like, no it's fine, I'll be able to glue the tail back on I'm like, oh good. But uh, I went over the table, over to the desk. Well, it was a table. It was a dresser. Who? It doesn't really matter. And I knocked it over again, and it broke into so many pieces. It could not be put back together again. And Annika's reaction was like, "Wow, you really didn't want me to give that to Morgan, did you? You could have just told me." And I'm just like. Uh -huh. I spent that night feeling terrible and fantasizing about my own demise. My clumsiness is okay to deal with. When I am paying the price for it in cuts or bruises or making a spectacle out of myself. But I really, really, really hate myself when I break someone else's things. I just feel so stupid and defeated and just completely done with myself. Like, oh no, that, that just, what you just did, you're just, your life is over now. Give up, just stay away from people, you just wreck everything. And I want to apologize for them having to know me. It's such a burden. It's like, thanks for being my friend. You really don't have to be, and I appreciate it. And as well as thinking these things, I also feel the urge to actually tell them. You don't have to be my friend if you don't want to. Because I suck, I get it, and I wouldn't hold it against you. But that, even in my insecure, ugh, ugh, terrible feeling state, still just seems like a crazy thing to say to them. So I'm just like, nah, nah, nope, nope, don't, don't speak, don't speak. You've already broken their things. Don't unleash your crazy insecure mind on them too. So then I just shut up, quietly ruminate to myself, and let them decide my fate. <laughs> I eventually get over it, but there's still some things that I think about and I'm just like, oh. All those moments that you just, you're like, why? Do I exist? Oh god. Anyway, lastly, but leastly, I've been working out. Don't get too excited, it's just my wrists. I wonder what a muscular wrist look like. Wrists even get muscular? I've been doing grip training. My goal is to be able to open any jar, bottle, or anything that requires a firm grip. Because it sucks when no one is around and I am trying to open something and I can't do it. I use a tea towel to make it easier and I run it under the hot water but nothing works. And I'm not even a particularly weak human but no matter how many push-ups I do, the jars continue to elude me. 
So that isn't gonna be a thing anymore because Jazz, I'm coming for you. And I uh, also, hopefully, will be able to open any package that comes for me in the mail without punching myself in the face. Actually happened. Happy 4th of July, Americans. Your insides are looking rather beautiful today. Or dashing, whatever adjective you prefer. And uh...